Giancarlo Maketo. Giancarlo Maketo is where you used to buy things in Chipatuku. Bam. Okay, so we are joined by the singer of that very beautiful song, colorful video, Atella in the building. Yeah. Hey. Trumpet, 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 drums roll, <laughs> drums roll, drums roll. Good to see you, Atella. Hey. Happy New Year. How you doing, uh? Thank you. What's How going you? on? <laughs> Good. Ah, we see you. We see you. I wish I was in the studio. I mean, I know. it's all due to coronavirus pandemic. We cannot yeah. have people in the studio because of that. But we see you are looking really good. It seems the corona lockdown is not affecting you at all. How are how you, how oh, you coping? Bro, as you can see, I've not, I've not been able to cut my hair. Oh, yes. So that's no, one. I, I that's one. That. <laughs> On a more serious note, though, Atela, let's look at how this coronavirus pandemic has been for you, your mental state. And I'm asking this because there are lots of people that are struggling, that mm -hmm. are dealing with this. Some have been honest to be vulnerable about how it affected them. Some are covering yeah. all that vulnerability with a lot of laughter. And just this morning, we had a conversation about a young man who could no longer deal with all the hardship. And a young banker you know, who, who dropped his suicide note and harmed himself. So we want you to be honest and tell us exactly how you feel about the pandemic and how it's how you're, how you're dealing with it? Well, you know, um, it hasn't been easy. I mean, I won't lie. Um, it has um, greatly affected my finances. Um, you know, um, the way I was doing my music, um, I wasn't paying a lot of attention to the online online streams because I was getting a lot of shows, you know, um, but um, because of the pandemic, that has, of course, that has been put hold. And um, recently, I'm being absolutely honest, recently, um, I had a, a, how do you say, it? my company, um, is having a um, say financial problem. So, but mm -hmm. we'll be fine. We'll get through it. Indeed, you will. And thank you for being honest and vulnerable. And it's important that people in the public face, you know, public eye, can be honest about these things because there are people who watch you on TV and see your videos and think you have it all together. People who are still struggling with their self worth. And all of them are comparing themselves to you and feel like, oh, you have it all together. Why, why can't my life be as perfect? But it's important to, for them to know that we're all broken and we're all trying no, to get it together. Nobody has it figured out. <laughs> nobody has it figured out. I mean, we've yeah. never been through a pandemic before yeah, in our generation. Yeah. It's our first time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so as it is now, looking at the pandemic has caused a lot of changes. Like you said, uh, you, were, you, you, you did a lot of physical shows. And now... There are no physical shows anymore, and everybody is tilting towards yeah. social media. And you said also that you were not really, you know, that social media person, per se. But now, you are, we are all forced to tilt to that direction. So, yeah. how has it been for you, you know, evolving from the regular, you know, going out to do your shows, get paid, to putting your effort now on social media? Has it, how has it been for you? How has this, the change been? How have you been able to switch it? Well, about that, you know, um, the transition has been smooth. It's, it's been nice okay. because um, even though I was more, more into the physical shows, more into the physical meeting of people singing and getting paid, mm -hmm. I was also learning on my own how to um, get better on online promotions, you know, and online okay. streams and everything online. So the transition for me has been smooth hmm. okay okay and it's getting... <laughs> makes sense all makes right so sense. Tell her, let's talk about your music you know you i remember when you dropped jankara then i was on hello night and i had you over come talk about jankara and the color yeah. behind the video we'll go into other things but beyond jankara you've done an, you did another single in 2019 um fly about i'm trying to remember you did something songs about home, songs about home. Yes, yes, you had an EP in 2019, Songs About Home. And I want yes. to ask you how that was you know, received. What was the reception like? 
Oh, the reception was awesome. Um, because uh, for me, it was the first time, it was the first time I was singing um, R&B, pure soul music. It was the first time I was able to, to tell um, uh, real romantic stories, you know, of things that actually happened to me and hurt me. So the whole EP, Songs About Home, uh, was part of emotion. So mm. it was really good for me. And the people who listened to it were like, ah, guy, this song good, this song, this song, this particular song is talking to me. So it was good. The reception was very good. So looking at, at, at that EP, would you say you had a lot of... Uh, first, I would like to ask, do you write out of... Uh, personal experiences a lot, and would you say the EP had a lot of you, of your personal experiences yes. in the EP? Yes, you know, um, before, before the EP, um, my sound was greatly influenced by um, foreign opinion, you know, opinion that's not mine. You okay. know, like, okay, sing this, you know, do this. Mm -hmm. But the EP, the EP was all me yes true before the ep there were times when i would write songs born of my experiences but the ep just i just did me mm. i just did me and there's a song on the ep um fly little bird fly if you were my own you'd come back to me so I said, fly, little bird, fly. If you be my own, before they by my side, hmm. that's flat. Hmm. Yes. It's, more clap, uh, more clap, more clap. It's in work, it work, it work, more clap. <laughs> Your voice is beautiful. I have chills. Ah, that one did. That one so did. let's talk about that fly, little bird, fly. Yeah. There's yes. a, a popular adage or a popular proverb that says, if you love something, set it free. If it comes back to you, it's yours. And if it doesn't, it never was. Was that something yeah. that influenced that writing? Yeah, you know, um, it was, um, okay, long story short, I was in love with this girl, madly in love. Mm. And then one thing led to another, uh, she flew away. Mm. So I was broken about it, so I made a song about it, but not to get the bird back, because I had made up my mind already. Mm. But I just sang it. Mm. Wow. So, so, so you can say that the breakup was an inspiration to a mega hit song, and you are great. Yeah, yeah, right. Great I mean, Adele. Makes Adele sense. was that's that's something similar that happened to Adele. It was her, her heartbreak series that, that made all up. of us know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's this girl called Adele, and she's absolutely amazing. Hmm. So at the end of the day, you did not waste your pain. And I'm hoping that this inspires someone <laughs> out there who is going through one form of pain or the other. Don't waste it. Let that pain birth purpose. Hmm. Atela, let's talk about your Jankara video. I still really, I remember I saw it first. The first time I ever saw the video was on Instagram, was a sponsored video. I'm like, who is this guy? The video was colorful, the retro vibes. I loved the retro vibes. It was such a happy song. And I still think that even in this day and age where there's a lot of gloom and doom and so much darkness, we need things to make us happy. It, it reminds me of the <laughs> Pharrell, you know, the, the Nigerian version of Pharrell's happy. Because yeah, of how happy yeah, the video yeah. is. And Prisme, tell us about putting together that, that body of work and the, the creative concept. Well, um, Jankara, um, Jankara is from um, um, this play, we used to play with, with my friend, then like, Jankara, Jankara Market. I want to see the winner, hey, Jankara Market. And uh, um, growing up, uh, I realized those were um, really happy times for me. Mm -hmm. those, those were really happy times for me as a child. And then as a growing adult, you know, with all the stress of adulthood, um, we were in the studio one day, and then the producer came in. So he started playing something. And then I just sang, and it was just Jankara. Like, I did not write the song. I just sang it. It, it was a one-take song. Mm. Uh, so, and then when, when my bosses heard it, they were like, oh, this is amazing. You know, this is, this is just amazing. It brings feelings that, uh, you know, I didn't know I had. Those are mm -hmm. funny um, things. 
So we shot a video for it. We met Clara Sinters and we shot an amazing, amazing video for it. So here we are. So in, in putting your, in writing your songs, do you always yeah. have uh, a visual in your head already? When you write the songs, do you have a visual of what you would expect the song to look like? Or, and, and do you also uh, tell your video director like, oh, this is the angle I'm looking at uh, the video because when I was writing the song, I pictured this and that and that. Does that happen to you in uh, deciding what your video should look like? Oh yeah, sometimes, sometimes. However, I, I have this tradition of allowing um, artistic freedom, mm. you know, yes, because um, the director may have something in mind. Mm -hmm. So I'll allow you to tell me what you have in mind. If it's in line with what I have, yeah. then that's fine. But Neither. if it isn't, <laughs> I will just, um, I'll try so we find a way to merge the two. Both ideas. So everybody's happy. Mm. <laughs> Would you say that during this period you've been able to write more, do more music, or you know, there are two categories of Oh, different. you have no idea. Oh, great. I have so many songs. Uh -huh. <laughs> I have so many songs I was able to write um, during this pandemic. I had a lot of time. I mean, all I had is time. All I still have now is time. So I put it to a lot of videos. So I made a lot of songs. Huh. So uh, do you play any, any musical instruments? I just wanted to ask that on the side. I'm learning how to play the guitar. That, that has been difficult, but I'm still learning. So why did you pick a guitar? Why did you, why did you fall in love with the guitar? Before he answers, because <laughs> any man that plays the guitar and can sing is... He can catch beat, Abi. Because I'm Abi like saying, I wait till you make it, he carry that guitar. Because, you, guitar. you know, so when you can play guitar, you can catch beat. Hey! Is that the it concept? He may not be general, babe. He can catch me. He no, can catch no. you. Ah. I'm no, going to no, now. Jinta, they go play for you. Jinta, DJ, play with the Jinta. <laughs> All right. So, why did you fall in love with uh, the, with the guitar? So, um, earlier when I started singing in Joss, um, yeah. because I grew up in Joss, or I was born in Joss. Earlier when I started singing in Joss, um, in my neighborhood there was this guy, um, Pantong. He would always play the guitar, you know, and then. I would sing. So that was the, um, um, how do you say, it? foundation instrument for me. Oh. So each time I hear the guitar, I can sing literally anything. I can just start singing. So I was like, when I was there to learn an, learn an instrument, I was yeah. like, okay, this is the instrument for me. I have to learn this. Okay, so makes that's, sense. Makes yeah. sense, actually. <laughs> okay, um, Atela, what should we expect from you soon? You know, and who who are your greatest musical influences? I'm sure that in this period, a lot of people are doing a lot of introspecting, listening, going back to reevaluate their sound, listening to the voices of their greatest influences, and then making decisions on what sort of music to bring mm -hmm. out. So, who would you see are your greatest musical influences? Nigeria, you know, home and abroad, and what should we be? My greatest influences. Mm -hmm. Yes, musical musical influences. musical influences. Yes, right. Oh now. yes, yes. Sam Smith is way up there. Sam Smith, uh, nice. Yes, I mean, nice. I I love the guy. I I adore the guy. He he has a way of um putting his soul mm. into his music. When, when you listen to Sam Smith sing, it's like he's he's taking you through the story when it happened. Mm. And then I've always been a big fan of Two Face and then um, Banky W, Kobams, yeah. Dari Art Aladdin. The list is endless. I want the to put you on the spot. I want to put you on the spot. You're a lover of Sam Smith. <laughs> and I want you to do a line in, or two lines in Sam Smith's song. And the only song that comes to mind right now is, You say I'm crazy. Okay. <laughs> Trust me, I have a lot of lines from. Oh, yeah, no, oh, yeah, no. Give us, give us, give us. Bring it on. Have the, the floor is yours. Okay. Um, you must think that I'm stupid. You must think I'm such a fool. Hi. And you must think that I'm new to this. But I have seen it all before. And I'm never gonna let you close to me, even if you mean the most to me. 
Cause every time I open up it hurts And I'm never gonna get too close to you Evil ain't mean the most to me In case you go and leave me in the dark But every time you hurt me the last thing hey. I cry hey. And every time you leave me the quick on your keys right And every time you walk out the less I love you but we don't stand a chance. It's sad, but it's true. I'm way too good at goodbye. Oh, hey, Jay <laughs> I want to start worshiping. Let me Antella, worship. Wait, wait, wait. Hey. After that bread flew away, hey. has another bed retaken the place of the bed that flew away? Is that oh. new bed? Or there's. No yes, ah. I met this. Um, le le now, let me tell you about Danny. I, I call her Danny. I met this um, really amazing girl, you know. Hmm. Um, when I met her, I was like, hey, how far now? She was like, fine. I'm like, um, you savvy me? She's like, no, who you be? I said, my name is Francis. My name is Atella. She said, okay, cool, cool, cool. She only got to know I am a singer like, um, like three weeks into wow. dating. Yeah, Aww. and then she has this amazing soul. You know, like when she smiles, like when she smiles, it's like hey. and clouds, you mm. know, just a fusion of the two. God way. Mm. Oh them not. Mm. Baba, you try. Wait. You try. <laughs> I you, tell her, <laughs> you are just making me say God when. God. Didn't even, oh, didn't even one man is talking about good, one woman so, like this. So, so, it's so. good now. Now, you say you were the one shouting men has come, men has come I yesterday. was not shouting. She no. was shouting men has come, men has come yesterday. He said now, lie, I tell her, now man you be Jare, you don't prove them wrong. Men are not scum. I did not say so. How ah. can I say men has come? Don't yeah. I want to marry man? Only. Hey, I don't want please. Don't lie, put for my head. I tell her, thank you so much for for. Wow. Wow. Joining us on the show today is wow. very interesting, <laughs> you know, interesting show. Before we let you go on a much lighter note, you know, you've put us in the mood of love. We want to do a bit of throwback because your song Jankara was inspired by some game that you used to play back in the day with your friends titled Jankara. And yes. today is Throwback Thursday. Mm -hmm. And everyone and I have started the show arguing about Sandalili, Sandalili. Do you know that song? Hey. Yes. Please sing it last year. Please sing it last year. If you leave but me, I'll sing the version I know. Well, I'll sing the version, version you know, you know. because going on on uh -huh. Please sing the version you know. The what we know. Uh -huh. Exactly. Uh -huh. The one we know. So all I know is sandalili, sandalili. Correct. Sandalili, sandalili. Sandalili, 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 sandalili. I'm a doctor in my country. Doctor. Hey. You know me where. If, if you, you look, look me up and down, down you, you will know that it's true. Yeah. Yeah. You know why I asked you this? Anyone and I have been having a serious argument. We started the show actually arguing. Yeah. Because everyone is saying it's standard living, standard living. It's standard Remember living. It's standard living. It's standard living, not standard lily. All I know. What is standard lily? And me too. I all I know is standard lily. As for me and my house, we, we always standard lily. The one is standard living. <laughs> Atella, thank All right, you thank so, you, so Atella, for joining us, man. Thank you for this conversation. It's been quite uh, insightful. And at least uh, a lot of people don't know the, the gist behind, you know, the Atella brand and the things to expect from you. So, Atella, you talk say you don't write plenty, plenty song. Go. So, yes. uh, as this uh, pandemic would pass, uh, what should we expect from you immediately when you know that what next is coming up? An EP, an album, or probably a single? A single. What are you bringing out for us? Even before it passes, okay. I am um, I'm planning on dropping a single. Okay. You know, I'm, I'm working on that. But, you know, with the social distancing and all, I can't shoot a video for it yet. Mm -hmm. But I'm planning on dropping a single. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Even though you are not single. Amazing single, by the way. Ah, she said, even though you are, you are not single, you are dropping a single. Ah, ah. Hey. please, oh. no, no. let's have <laughs> ah, she, Okay. No, now nah, I was just dropping rhymes. So I got calm down. So he can feature you in his next song. Sure. Okay. I ah. Uh, yeah. You see, you see. I don't. I'll be your manager. I'll manage you. <laughs> <laughs> and that was, I, I, I don't trust you. I'll manage you. So I tell her before you leave us, just give us like small, you know, vocal on that uh, new 
song. Yes, just give us a bit. Let's expect one line or two from your That's single. how we're going to That's exit, how we're going to the, exit interview. the interview. Just give us something that we can, you know, go home with. If I took a step, would you let me stay? Hmm. You've agreed to be the one I spend with all my life. If I told you no, hmm. would you tell me? If you go stand by me and tell me here is the way to go. I believe in everything that we can do together. I believe if we have come this far, there's nothing we can't do. I believe she, you and I could be like, baby darling, when you and I stay, nothing else stands tonight. Oh! Woo! Oh! When well, you are that, talented, you are talented. On that note, we're wrapping up this conversation. <laughs> Thank you so much, Atela. We wish you all the best. We look forward to seeing your song. And please come back again when you've dropped the song. Let's wrap up with Jankara. Yeah. Alright.